Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about the common names of alkyl branches using ISO, SEC, TERT, and NEO. You've learned how to name linear unbranched alkanes. The name of a straight chain hydrocarbon is derived from the number of carbon atoms in the molecule. You've also learned the rules for naming alkanes with alkyl substituents. These standardized rules were developed by the IUPAC to create an unambiguous method of naming organic molecules. These are systematic names. As you study chemistry, you will likely encounter other names for the same chemical compounds. These are common or trivial names. They can be shorter and simpler than the systematic IUPAC name and are still often used today. Let's learn more about the common names of branched alkanes using ISO, SEC, TERT, and NEO. Consider this cyclic alkane. There are six single bonded carbon atoms arranged in a ring. To name a molecule in ChemDoodle, select the molecule and press the Attach Updating Label button. In the pop-up, be sure that IUPAC name is selected and press Add. This molecule is cyclohexane. Adding a 3-carbon alkyl chain makes this 1-propyl cyclohexane. You may also see this as propyl cyclohexane without the 1 in front. Both names refer to this molecule. Numbering of the ring begins at the carbon with a substituent. With only one substituent on a ring, it's understood that the substituent is located at carbon 1, so the 1 isn't always included in the name. Looking at the propyl substituent, if we move the terminal carbon two carbons down the chain and attach it here, the molecule becomes 1-isopropyl cyclohexane. There are still three carbon atoms in the substituent, hence propyl, but there's the additional prefix iso. The prefix iso stands for isomer. These two molecules are constitutional isomers. They have the same atoms, but the atoms are connected differently. The prefix iso is used to describe a continuous carbon chain with one CH3 methyl branch at the second to last carbon. Be mindful that the prefix iso is part of the substituent name, so it should be considered when alphabetizing the substituent. For 1-butyl cyclohexane, the terminal methyl group would move two carbons down the chain and attach at this carbon, making this molecule 1-isobutyl cyclohexane. Let's continue exploring variants of cyclohexane with a 4-carbon substituent. This molecule is 1-sec-butyl cyclohexane. The prefix sec stands for secondary because the cyclohexane ring or functional group is bonded to the butyl group at a secondary carbon. A secondary carbon is a carbon that is attached to two other carbons. Sec is used when describing a 4-carbon chain. It's irrelevant with a shorter chain. The alkyl branch becomes an isyl group. With a longer chain of five or more carbons, the prefix sec becomes ambiguous. Either of these structures could be called 1-sec-pentyl cyclohexane. Be aware that the prefix sec can be abbreviated with an s. Notice as well that the s or the prefix sec is italicized and in lowercase letters and is followed by a hyphen. Sec is not used when alphabetizing the substituent. Another variation of cyclohexane with a 4-carbon substituent is 1-tert-butyl cyclohexane. The prefix tert stands for tertiary because the cyclohexane ring or functional group is bonded to the butyl group at a tertiary carbon. A tertiary carbon is a carbon that is attached to three other carbons. This means that tert describes a continuous carbon chain with two CH3 methyl branches attached at the same tertiary carbon. In this molecule, there are five total carbons in the substituent, a pentyl group. Two methyl branches are bonded to the same carbon of the continuous carbon chain. So this carbon is tertiary, with three other carbons attached to it, making this substituent a tert pentyl group. Similar to the prefix sec, the prefix tert can be abbreviated with a T. Take note also that the T, or the prefix tert, is italicized and in lowercase letters and is followed by a hyphen. The prefix tert is not factored in when alphabetizing the substituent. Let's consider this cyclohexane molecule with a 5-carbon substituent. 
This is 1. Neopental cyclohexane. The prefix neo is used with at least 5 carbons and includes a terminal tert butyl group. Because of this, a neo group contains a terminal quaternary carbon or a carbon attached to four other carbons. With the neo group, the cyclohexane ring or functional group is bonded at a terminal primary carbon that is opposite from the tert butyl group. The prefix neo is part of the substituent name, so it's taken into consideration when alphabetizing the substituent. IUPAC nomenclature promotes an unambiguous method for systematic names of chemical compounds. Nonetheless, common or trivial names are often still used today. These common names can include the prefixes iso, sec, tert, and neo. Knowing these can help you to understand and interpret molecules in your studies. Thanks for watching ChemDoodle Shorts.